Now she knew with absolute certainty. She was the goddess of war. She was the avenger of chaos and death. She was semi palate and the falling stars were a measure of her anger. As the heavenly fire descended, she raised her sword, light flashing on the bloody tip. Shadows stood light and prowled the battleground, delineating the abundant dead. The goddess then repaid greed with slaughter, a thousand lives shed for one. As the screaming stars rained down, her laughter became a haunting song. I am the crown of eternal stars. I am the armor forged from scars. I am the truth whose seed is dealt. I am the flaming sword that will never burn out. The song was carried to its conclusion by the theatrical players as the battleground became a stage and the stage little more than a hill upon which they had staged their craft. Falling stars became wooden torches. Bodies rose happily from the dead. Masks of virtue and vice were cast aside to reveal the cheery grins of actors. Having concluded their performance, the players bowed to the gallant villagers of Jaramil. Daimonia led the applause with all her heart. She had been so completely absorbed in the drama that she came back to herself with a jolt. She was no longer the heroine of the mythological saga, but merely a wide-eyed girl cheering into the wind. Goddess, give me your certainty, Daimonia prayed, for I am beset with questions and doubt. She blinked a swell of tears, her heart tired from the demands of the drama. Thank you, I'm Alex Hill for the way